Hello YouTube. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video to recap uh, the Swisher. Um, I had it for a full season now. I just brought it back. I had this mantle for the winter. Um, brought it back in. Start putting it back together. Now I'm just going to go over a couple of problems that I found uh, going through the season last year. One was belt. I went through three belt. The one that goes underneath here. Okay, I went through three of them, and I think I found what the problem is. Uh, the engage pulley, uh, in my opinion, is too loose. Uh, the setup that they come with, they have this little sleeve here that fits onto the bolt in here. And the sleeve, first of all, is too big for the bolt, so there's loose there already. Um, and then they don't have a washer like I'm showing there. They just have a bolt. And then there's a, the sleeve is actually a little longer than this whole unit. So it makes it go up and down a bit. And as, I, as you can see, I have it reset right now. And if I close it, I'm right to the top of my inside pulley. This is still lower here, which, you know, when it engaged, it's fine because it's over here, like it's further up. But I still wanted to make sure it lines up. Before it was below, so it's like it's pushing the belt down. Um, so I think that was one of the problem. I still have my clearance on top, you can see. So I'm not going to hit this thing um, if when it returns. Now the other thing too that I found, the two bolts, um, actually the solenoid is held by two tap-on screw. And they're fairly big. Uh, this type of screw. Now, the head of it is fairly long. And what happened, the head was sticking out here. Like this is the two. Uh, I switched those to bolt and nuts because the screw was sticking out, coming right over top of where the belt is. As you can see, the belt is driving through here. These head were literally sticking out about a half inch down below so if i bet you if you have a swisher and you put your hand on a knee here right underneath where the solenoid is you'll feel these two screws sticking out so when that belt engage every time you go to engage the belt um it sort of bounces a bit in there like as it engage the pulleys on both sides and i think that up and down bouncing was catching the top head of these screws where again, they're self-tapping screws, very sharp at the edge here. And I think they were chewing on my belt a little bit every time. So now I have bolts and nuts on top. So it's a very low profile. It shouldn't catch this. I actually had a sleeve left from another thing I did. And the inside was just a little too small. So I took a 3-8 drill tab, drill the inside. And it fits perfectly inside this setup here. So I'm replacing this provided sleeve by my own, which is thicker wall. Now it fits in there, less woggle. As you can see, it doesn't shake. If you actually grab your own, I guarantee you, if you, it will shake like crazy because the sleeve is too um, loose and it's, it's set up wrong, in my opinion. So I changed all that, so hopefully this will help me not chew as many belt this year. Um, I will follow up on that. Now the other thing I did is obviously I did a full service, cleaned it up, changed the oil filter, uh, spark plug. Um, and then I will touch on another project I have here. As you can see I got the Swisher, but I bought another um, PTO driven mower, uh, much better quality, but I want to convert it to run it the same idea as this. So I'll have those two side by side on each side of my tractor and I'll be able to cut 14 feet. I have 20 acres of grass to cut now. I double the size of my acreage. So um, obviously this will help. I will have a few videos on this one, uh, especially the conversion process because I will put a, a 15 horse mower on top of this which will drive the PTO shaft 
um, which will give it the capability of same as the Swisher. It's, it's going to have its own gas motor and that way the more deck that I have here which goes underneath my Kubota then I'll have these two motors side by side. I will touch on that later. Uh, thanks for watching. Any comments uh, you can leave them below. Thanks. Bye.